baby Archie is keeping Meghan Markle and Prince Harry busy. On the second day of their African tour, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex sat down for afternoon tea with residents of the Bocap area of Cape Town, South Africa, and Meghan shared what life is like with their son, born May 6. Our plate is full with a five-month-old at the moment, so busy, the royal mom, 38, shared with locals. Although the couple traveled with Archie, the baby boy has not joined his parents for any engagements yet. He was spotted arriving at the airport in Meghan's arms, and wearing a hat that resembled one that father Prince Harry wore as a youngster, but has remained with a nanny during his parents' first two jam-packed days of events. Meghan was able to see her son between engagements on Tuesday. She headed back to see Archie while Prince Harry, 35, undertook a solo outing, but not before parting with a goodbye kiss. The affectionate moment came shortly after the duo praised each other as parents at a group mindfulness activity at a beach. During a power hand session, in which the participant has to identify a strength and meditate about it, one of the coaches suggested to Meghan that her strength was dancing. Meghan and Harry showed off their dance moves during an outing in Nyanga on Monday. She laughed and said, Not that, says Ash Heath, a manager for mental wellness group Waves for Change. She said parenting is the new strength that she and Harry are learning. He's added, she said, he's the best dad, and, Harry, said, no, she's the best mom. During the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's visit to the District 6 Museum on Monday, one fan asked about Archie's whereabouts. Samaya Ibrahim, 81, a former District 6 resident who was in the crowds when the Queen visited the town in 1947 with her parents and sister Princess Margaret, jumped in Harry's arms for a big hug as they talked by. She then excitedly hugged Meghan as she asked them, Where's Archie? Harry told her, He's sleeping. When another resident asked about Archie, Harry admitted that the long flight tired his baby son out. He's not grouchy, just exhausted, he revealed. Their baby boy was top of mind during the first day of the tour. After the Duke of Duchess of Sussex gave powerful speeches at the Cape Town's Nyanya Township, where they took part in a workshop run by an NGO called Justice Desk, Jessica Dewhurst announced they had a little gift for them. When your beautiful boy was born you gave him the name Archie, she said. The name Archie means bravery and strength. So to welcome Archie home, your family at the Justice Desk has given him the traditional South African name Zika. This name of Kosa African origin means pillar of strength. May you always be a pillar of strength for those who need you. And because he's a Justice Desk hero, he gets his little Justice Desk hoodie, Dewhurst said presenting the couple with a, a tiny sweatshirt with the words be a voice for justice on the back. Meghan Markle says she and husband Prince Harry are learning a new strength, parenting. The royal couple took part in a group mindfulness activity at a beach in South Africa on Tuesday alongside Waves for Change, an organization that supports local surf mentors to provide mental health services to vulnerable young people living in under-resourced communities. During a power hand session, in which the participant has to identify a strength and meditate about it, one of the coaches suggested to Meghan that her strength was dancing. Meghan and Harry showed off their dance moves during an outing in Nyanga on Monday. She laughed and said, Not that, says Ash Hees, a manager for Waves for Change. She said parenting is the new strength that she and Harry are learning. He's added, she said, he's the best dad, and, Harry, said, no, she's the best mom. Meghan and Harry became parents for the first time in May when they welcomed their son Archie to the world. They have since been settling into life as new parents. It's magic. It's pretty amazing. I have the best two guys in the world, so I'm really happy, Meghan said soon after the birth of her son. Harry added at the time, it's great. Parenting is amazing. We're just so thrilled to have our own little bundle of joy. The new parents traveled to South Africa with Archie on Monday, marking the almost five-month-old's first official royal tour. Meghan was pictured coming off the plane with Archie in her arms on Monday morning. In a touching tribute to Princess Diana, 
Archie was seen wearing a white knit hat with a festive pom-pom that was very similar to the one Diana chose for a baby Harry to wear in January 1985 as they stepped off a plane in at Aberdeen Airport in Scotland. Harry was also around four months old at the time. The couple hopes to be able to include Archie at some point in the program, but it is difficult to schedule because he is five months old, a royal source says. Archie wasn't far from fans' minds during Monday's outings. An excited onlooker hugged Meghan and Harry as she asked them, Where's Archie? Harry told her with a smile, He's sleeping. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were given a gift for Archie on their outing on Tuesday, a onesie, and a framed illustration of the power hand activity. He's ads of the couple, they were very engaging and very willing to talk to the coaches on their level. The coaches are the heart of our project, without them nothing happens. The young coaches were incredibly relaxed with them, and that comes down to how the couple made them feel relaxed and engaged.